Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Starseeker 3 hand controller, uh, how to input the uh, information at the beginning, how to find some alignment stars, and then how to do the actual alignment with the telescope. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing a fake alignment because obviously it's daytime here and I can't see any stars. So as you can see the cap's on and uh, there's no stars visible. So at each step, when it asks you to center a star, or find a star even, you'll want to look through the eyepiece or the finder scope and get the star exactly centered uh, in either case. The first thing after you power on the Star Seeker hand controller uh, is the initialization. That'll take a couple of seconds. And then it gets to the uh, firmware version number. Hit enter to go past that. It'll give you a warning about not looking at the sun with a telescope without a proper filter. Next is the uh, position on Earth that you need to input. That's your longitude and your latitude. So I'm going to look at my smartphone, actually, which will give me my coordinates. If you don't have a smartphone, you can look it up online. Just do a Google search for your city and longitude, latitude, and it'll bring it right up. So I am at west in the Western Hemisphere, 121 degrees, 47 minutes. It, and then it uh, jumps to latitude uh, after you hit enter. We're north of the equator here in the San Francisco Bay Area. So north, and my phone is telling me it's 36 degrees and 55 minutes. And hit enter. It'll ask you for a time zone. Uh, here on the Pacific Coast, we're at minus eight. Always minus on the Western Hemisphere. Minus zero, eight. Enter. The date, uh, today, I'll enter the date for today. Hit enter the time and hit enter and then daylight savings time yes or no and then it asks you to begin the alignment yes or no so let's go through an alignment procedure the two star alignment procedure asks you initially for the first star so you'll have to find one star in the night sky that's a pretty easy uh, thing to do nowadays um, if you're not sure of the names of some of the stars you can use um, uh, your smartphone we have a application on the uh, uh, iTunes uh, app store called Starseek and you can hold the phone up over your head and point it at any bright star and it'll identify what that star is. In the back of the manual for the Starseeker 3s is a whole list of uh, uh, star charts and they will help you identify some stars. Uh, in addition we have uh, two items uh, that we sell the uh, Star Target Planisphere or the Deep Map 600 which will both uh, allow you to easily locate stars in the night sky. So once you've chosen the two-star alignment, it brings up a list of stars. Uh, these are the very bright stars that are out for your time of night and your location. So cycle through the list until you've found the star that you want to use, identify it in the night sky, and hit enter. It will ask you to manually point the telescope towards that star. Simply use the arrow buttons located on top of the hand controller to slew the telescope around until you've aimed it at that star in the sky, either up, down, left, or right. Get it as close as you can with a finder scope. Hit enter. The buttons now move to a slower speed so you can fine tune the positioning when you're looking through the eyepiece and get the star exactly centered in the view. Once it's centered, hit enter. Once you've told the system the first star, it asks you for the second star. So cycle through the list, picking a nice bright star, and hit enter. This time, however, the telescope already knows its initial position, so it's going to go to where it thinks the star is. And as it moves, it gets closer to the star. It won't be dead on, though, because you haven't completed the initial alignment. All right, now it says to center the star in the eyepiece. So we're now at the slower speed. So up and down, left and right to get it centered. Hit Enter, and it'll say alignment successful. All right, well, there you have it. The alignment is done. The telescope is now tracking the night sky. So you can use the hand controller to find objects in the night sky, whether it be deep sky objects or planets. Um, and the computer will do it all for you. Find everything, center it, track it as it moves through the night sky. And you'll be amazed at how many things you can see in one night. Thank you very much. Clear skies.